YouTube. Um, today I wanted to make a video um, kind of reviewing some of my background history, my previous pregnancy with my daughter who's now just about 14 months um, and what kind of happened there and how it's going to be hopefully a little different than <laughs> the first time around, this time around. So with my daughter, um, we, well, I should say before my daughter, I had a chemical pregnancy in, I think it was 2010, and my husband and I got married in 2009. Um, so in 2010, I got a positive pregnancy test. It was really light though, um, and I was late for my period by like three days. And um, then a couple days later, I took another test and it was still like really light and uh, sorry I got stuff you know and um my period ended up coming so it was um it was chemical cool because you don't want really to get positive tests unless you have HCG, HCG, uh, HCG so um that happened and then in 2011 um in like the end of July we started trying to have Aria and um it took quite a while after six months of trying well six cycles of trying i went and saw my ob at the time and she was just kind of like you're fine just to keep trying whatever it was really irritating at the time um so i had figured out on my own that i had like a really short luteal phase in my cycle and uh, i looked at like forums and stuff and found online that i should start taking like a b complex supplement because the six, I believe it is, um, helps lengthen your luteal phase. So I started doing that at about six months after trying, and like still for a couple months we, we didn't have too much luck. So I can, I still continued doing that, um, and then the actual month that we conceived, which one, I think it was like the tenth month, or the t it was the tenth cycle. So my cycles were short. Um, last time they were like between twenty four and twenty six days. They weren't long at all. So, um, right at the tenth cycle, we, that month, I, um, started charting my vessel body temperature, and I realized that I ovulated a whole lot sooner than I thought that I had. Um, I ovulated at, like, a, the eleventh day of my cycle, which does kind of make sense, like, having such a short cycle that that's what it would have been, but... Anyway, so I figured that out, and um, we tried, like, really, 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 really tried that month. <laughs> like, did every possible thing that you could do to increase your chances of pregnancy that month. Um, and I was, like, a pianistic addict. <laughs> um, I was all over, like, Baby Gaga and stuff. Um, mind spotters, all of that for previous months. And um, so the day that... I feel like I found out was, I think it was only 8 DPL, so I was only actually like on day 19 or 20 of my cycle, so um, it was like super duper early and it was a really, really, really faint, but I could totally see like a pink line and uh, my husband kind of denied it, so the next day I took another test and I took a digital and it said that I was pregnant, um, but I think I was only... Like, like I said, like I was under 20 days, I was like not even three weeks pregnant when I found out. So I found out really, really early. Um, I definitely learned my lesson with that because for like the next week or so, I was just so nervous that my period was actually going to start and like I found out too early or something. So I like called me, I called and I made an appointment and they like were really weird about scheduling me because they were like, how do you even know you're pregnant right now? Like this is impossible. I'm sure you're not like two months pregnant um so i did that so anyways yeah we tried for aria for quite a long time um and found out found out really early so um that is kind of like my previous fertility story i guess um before this pregnancy lucy sorry my dog is in the butthole lucy no aria is happy already snapping, which is why I get to make this video right now. Um, so the first couple months of, well, like the first few weeks of pregnancy, I didn't even realize 
like I didn't have too many symptoms or anything. Um, and then I got really, really horrible food aversions. I couldn't eat anything that wasn't like fruit or salad. Yeah, <laughs> that was pretty much it. I think I had uh, like Wendy's cheeseburger twice during the whole first trimester. So I ended up losing um, around 10 pounds the first trimester just because I couldn't eat anything, um, meat and vegetables. Really, like just everything uh, grossed me out. So that wasn't fun. <laughs> I had really bad, um, like all day sickness too, that lasted pretty, like for a while into the second trimester. Um, it was like the worst at night, which is the opposite of 